On June 12, 2015, tragedy struck the Penn State men's lacrosse program when their starting goaltender at the time, Connor Darcy, was killed in a car crash. As talented as Darcy was, he impacted his teammates well beyond the confines of the lacrosse field. And in the wake of this devastating loss, the Penn State Brotherhood grew even stronger and continues to carry the spirit and legacy behind the now iconic number 16. Connor Darcy, I'm not sure if any one particular word or descriptor would, would do him justice. Connor played for us in the seasons 2013, 14, and 15. He was a goaltender. He was a fun-loving young man. He was extremely well-liked inside that locker room and on campus. But the other side is when he came to compete and play, you knew that you had a warrior in goal and one of the most competitive young men I've ever been around. And then unfortunately, he passed away that ensuing summer after the 2015 season. He was going to be a senior when I was a freshman. And basically, when it happened, it, it, it just shook the team. Uh, it was a tragic incident that happened when it happened. And it kind of brought everyone together, and it's tough. Our coach asked the seniors if they wanted to take that season off following the death of Connor, and they were all like, no, like, there's just no way we have to play for him, we have to honor him. But one of the things that we wanted to make sure is that that would be a legacy that would last on for a lifetime. Each year, we take the number 16, the number that he wore when he competed and played for Penn State, and we provide it to one senior on the team, the senior who has the most qualities that are symbolic of, of Connor Darcy when he was here as a, as a Penn Stater. And then each following year, he will then bestow that same honor to a rising senior so that the number 16 would live with us every day. Last year, a young man named Ryan Keenan wore the number 16. And when the season ended, um, he felt it was probably most symbolic or most appropriate to pass it down to Chris Sabia, who's a defenseman. Chris Sabia has been terrific for us. He's in the top two or three um, athletically of anyone I've ever coached in the last 19 years. He really proves to be one of the best that's out there in the defensive end. I had no idea it was going to be me, to completely honest. He caught me really off guard. When it happened, it was a very emotional moment. I was very proud. Chris grabbed that jersey, and he's also grabbed the spirit of that jersey, which I think is most important. Gets the double from Sabia. And I think that each and every day that he's had it, he's done a wonderful job of representing the family, representing Connor. And it's to try to add another page or another chapter in the legacy of Connor Darcy. When I put that number on for practice with my penny, it's a great reminder for me to just know, no matter what happened throughout the day, whether good or bad, that it's time to lock it and it's time to go. Crossing the field, loves his right. Good defensive work. It's time to lead like Connor would lead. It's time to compete like he would compete and just be a teammate that he would be. He's always in our memories. Everyone in here is always playing for him.